Hey internet, since my last one was so well received, I decided that today I would do another stream of consciousness video. I've been having trouble coming up with ideas lately, which is partially due to the fact that my mental energy is being spent doing things other than making videos. Between grad school and working in the high school and doing some other things on the internet, it just seems like making videos has a little bit taken a backseat, which I'm actually okay with. My two videos a week thing definitely uh, has not been happening in the past several months. I'm still making things when I want to make things, and like tomorrow I'm going to New York City, so I'll be vlogging that. It just is a process, and so, since this is the longest intro ever, here is stream of consciousness thought. I guess that could have been considered stream of consciousness thought because I'm just sitting here talking. A lot of the things that I've been thinking about lately have had to do with being an adult and being grown up or whatever. I am 25 and a half years old and I still very often don't feel like an adult. I don't feel like an adult should feel. It's strange because I'm now three years older than both of my older brothers were when they got married, but that still seems like such a different world to me. Obviously, there are plenty of adult things that I do. I have to pay rent and I have to buy my own groceries, but I still feel like there's a lot of adult experiences that I have not had yet, and so as a result of that, I just... I don't know. I don't, I don't feel the age that I am. Related to this, I've been thinking a lot lately about how I don't think I know any of the new popular songs on the radio. I don't really listen to the radio. I typically listen to my iTunes playlist that's on my phone, and that's all music from at least when I was in high school with a smattering of more recent music, but it's a lot of like Sum 41 and Michelle Branch, and I know those things don't go together, <laughs> but I've never had sensical taste in music. It's always been all over the place. It seems strange to me that I am already so out of touch with some of popular culture, but a lot of popular culture now happens online, and so that I feel like I'm still pretty much in touch with. I feel like this is something that is really present being in the classroom with high schoolers and seeing them as teenagers and seeing you as a person that, like, they consider an authority figure, they consider uh, an adult, a person that they can get advice from and that they have to take directions from, so that's very strange. I think it's particularly strange for me because I'm used to being the youngest of the group. Throughout my life when I've had friend groups, I've always been the youngest or at least very close to the youngest. Um, when I was a freshman in high school, I hung out with the seniors. When I was a sophomore in college, my friends were all seniors or juniors. Even when I was out of school at my job, a lot of the people that I hung out with were at least a year older than me and up to several years older than me. So suddenly I've been finding myself lately in different situations where I am not only one of the oldest people in the room, but I'm also considered a person that uh, people should ask questions from, and that is a strange thing, so that's just something I've been thinking about. Not really related to that, but kind of in the same vein, so I have not made it a secret that I attempted to dye my hair last weekend, and I used really cheap hair dye, and it really only dyed the roots. Now, thankfully, it doesn't look as bad as it could. Um, but it kind of looks a little bit like I'm a redhead who dyed her hair brown and is growing it out and there's just like random streaks of red. But after the initial like, oh my god, <laughs> this hair dye did not do what it was supposed to, it was kind of like, meh. I dyed my hair and it went wrong, but like it's not the end of the world. And I know that when I was younger and significantly more self-conscious, I would have thought it was the worst thing in the world and, like, not wanted to go to school and been super embarrassed about it. And it's not even really that bad, but even still, that's how I would have felt. So I am so grateful that I am an adult now and I, while I still have my things that I worry about how people think of me, less and less of them are having to do with my physical appearance and it has a lot more to do with how I present myself as a person and how they see me intellectually and uh, how they see my personality so it's really nice to not have that same stress so I thought that was interesting. Now a not very graceful segue to a different topic. It has been pretty warm here for the past couple days but it is very much fall and you can see all the leaves changing on the trees and I forgot just how beautiful it is. I've been driving around and thinking like I need to get my camera out, I need to 
to do this. I need to show people because it's just so pretty. And I don't know if you know this, but the term for leaves changing on trees is called autumnal senescence. And if you don't think that's the coolest name ever, I don't know what to tell you. I have always thought that that is such a neat thing to say, autumnal senescence, and I always tell people about it. I'm gonna give you guys a full update on the coffee and sugar thing at the end of the month, but it's still happening. I just want you guys to know it's still happening. I've been having some issues, but uh, we're gonna make it through. So let me know down in the comments uh, what is weird about being an adult for you if you're an adult, and what is your favorite thing? Also, do you find yourself being the youngest in the group or the oldest in the group? I don't know, all of the questions, answer whatever you'd like. I appreciate you guys bearing with me when there's a video like this where it's just not at all structured. <laughs> like I said, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all later.